Hello everybody, this is Grazo. Welcome back to a Game of Thrones and Crusader Kings. We're playing a playthrough of House Valerian. Um, in the first episode, we, we started to build up Driftmark and we killed Rhaegar Targaryen and uh, kind of maybe turned the war a little bit towards uh, the Baratheons. But right now, it seems it seems like the king is actually going to win. Um, I thought by killing this, this guy's son, it might maybe turn the war. Um, we have a couple of schemes that are cooking. We're, we're trying to murder uh, the grandson of the king currently. And overall, there's about six living members left of the Tar Targaryen household. Uh, our goal is to wipe them off the map. Um, I didn't last time look at our fate and kind of what it does. So we, we can, this is kind of the, the fate of the seven, but there's some holy sites uh, dotted across the map. Let me just zoom out and I'll show you. It might look a little bit better. Um, there's some holy face dotted dotted across the map. As you can see, we have probably the nearest one to us is up here, um, which all give different benefits. Now, the one that kind of caught my eye is down here, and that's actually, I think it's High Garden. Oh, it's in Old Town, High Tower. Um, so when the realm splits, I might make a move to try get some of those sites. Although our primary goal is to take over islands. Uh, obviously, being a little bit of a a um, pirate-based or sea-based family, I think that that makes more sense in terms of the lore of the TV show. Um, we did get caught trying to fabricate a ski, um, fabricate a claim on uh, where are we trying to on the claw oil which is just up here. I think we'll continue that on for now, uh, but let's jump back into the game. Uh, in between episodes, I converted everybody in our court to our religion. It's just a little bit boring, so that's all done. Let's see if there's any... Um... Nice, our building. building's already done. Small harbor that gives us a little bit of taxes. I don't necessarily need to do any of these right now. And if we have a look at our vassals, they kind of all hate me. <laughs> So maybe we do something to, my wife is pregnant, nice. Maybe we do something, I think the last time we could do a feast for free, right? Or a hunt for free? Yeah, the hunt is not gonna, um, it's not gonna cost me anything, but I don't need to do it right now. Maybe we do a feast and raise our vassal opinion. Our buildings are built, that's nice. Look at the smoke and, uh, Volcano on Dragonstone. Looks just looks pretty nice. Uh, disaster strikes, my lord. The wine we cracked open the, the next barrel has gone bad. It's all gone bad. Feast uh, still raging, but without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. I can uh, spend thirty gold and pitch in. I think I will do that. No problem. All. This is going to take seven years. Oh my god. A, a laudable effort. As the feast is underway, our guests are eating and drinking merrily. Monfort approaches Janea, Janeira, Janeira, her at the great table. This is a mar marvelous feast and compliments uh, to, to the host. So I can take prestige, or I can give my wife all the credit. I'm actually not going to give my wife all the credit right now. Well, actually, it will give my vassals better opinion of me. Yeah, let's do that. How did that impact their vassal opinion? Not really, nothing major there. How about if we have a look here? Uh, these are all republics. This one is feudal. This is a republic. So none of these guys, I can't change their contracts currently. Interesting. Every guest gets 20 opinion of me. Who was that? Was any, any of these guys at the event? This guy was. Okay, we, we've increased their opinion a little bit. Um... I can fabricate hooks now as well, so, but I think by doing that it will also um, wipe out our murder. So here's what I'm thinking, I've, I'll just pause for a second, I have another child, my grandson Eamon, Eamon Valerian, that just kind of sounds like something from the show, let's, let's, let's roll with that. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's good. Um, what I might do is I might try to like spread my seed around the map. <laughs> it's 
So, like, let's have a look at the veil that's ruled by this little lady. This is Robert's wife. Can I possibly... Oh, that's Lord Eddard's wife. Lady Liana. Um, she's refusing marriage. Okay, I can't do anything with her. I was thinking possibly we um, we seduce people. How about Cersei Lannister? She's not married currently. She's also one landed. And I could seduce her. She's beautiful. Let's do that. Let's kind of start seducing Cersei Lannister. One thing as well with her, her culture. Uh, where where was it? Our culture. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Um, I did see somewhere that like we could basically intermarry without any penalties. Where did I see that? Uh, Blood of the Dragon. No, that's not it. Where did I see it? Uh, yeah, sorry, there you go. Dynasty modifiers, blood of old Valeria, inbreeding chances minus 95%. So as we have kids, it's going to sound really disgusting, but as we have kids, we might like betroth them and marry them off to each other. And the reason for that is, so the traits that we carry, um, that's a bad example. The traits that we carry, uh, I think one of them, like for example, beautiful, which gives us all these bonuses, will be passed down uh, throughout the generations. So we're kind of following the same story in the show, right? They always marry each other in the show. Uh, I can I learn of Lord Levy's secret. Useful to know. Does that give me an option for a hook? I could blackmail him for a hook. Do you have a, a lot of soldiers? You're a liege of the Lannisters. You are a liege also of the Lannisters. Let's try blackmail him. Playing the intrigue game. I've gained a a lover secret on him. So what what does that allow me to do? Can arrange a marriage? Can I offer uh, a a ward? Um, you don't necessarily have anybody that I need to marry right now. We're not going to name the kid this. My daughter. We're going to Janira. Let's call her just Jan, I suppose. She is robust, which is nice. Okay. We, we're making decent money. This is my seduction um, scheme on Cersei. So Cersei just is deceitful, arrogant, and arbitrary, and vengeful. So I've been made aware of Cersei. He's very close to her uncle. Gaining his favor might help with Cerse catching Cersei's attention. You get a weak. This guy can get a weak hook on me. I don't necessarily want that. I could pay gold. Uh, let's pay gold. I don't want that. I don't want to give away a weak hook. Uh, she hasn't taken notice. Okay, what a waste of money. What a waste of money. Let's speed up time here. In my pursuit of Cersei's affection, it would be helpful to know exactly what her taste preference are. My spies can uncover it. You know what? I'm just going to ask. Get diplomacy. What's her opinion of me? She kind of likes me. Let's just ask. Be a bit direct. Okay, so we have a decent chance here, 62%. Um, gets budding interest. Am I, do I have my Spy Master on support schemes? I do. Yeah, okay. Let's go for it. Getting seven gold a month. We'll, we'll do another upgrade to Driftmark soon. I have empty holdings that I can build in. Uh, okay, failed to impress her. 
who is next on the love train um okay let's get rid of that let's have a look at the map who else is powerful that we could potentially chat up what about the north um caitlin she is well she's 22 she's also pretty close family opinion like what what would it take to potentially like seduce you 60 percent chance interesting how about dorn anybody in dorn that i can uh romance she's 36 she's a little bit too old how about iron islands No. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at everybody, and I would like to find someone that's female, that has inheritable traits, um, don't think I can do that on this search, I could do all, um, she is married, And I mean, I want somebody that's a ruler. Hmm. Dynasty, not Valerian. And we will do some of all skills. And we do all, some of all skills, female, all fates. Someone that's not Valerian. Nobody's jumping out to me. Okay. Maybe we don't do it to the seduction scheme for now. Can we seduce our wife again? We could romance her. We could recruit her as a spy. She's an intricate web weaver. Maybe we just recruit her as a spy. I don't necessarily need to... Actually, 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 can I recruit anybody as a spy down here? Hmm. What about in the Stormlands? Okay, she's like the most loyal woman of all time. That's not going to work. What about the Veil? Vale? Lady Alyssa of the Moon Gates. Romance, she's 41. Crude as a spy, she will not accept. Okay. Um, it's worth looking. Uh, I get a claim on the Lordship. Yeah, let's do that. I'll lose the money that I have, but now I have a claim. You and you. I don't need a weak hook on. Alara leaves my court. She's a decent soldier. I don't necessarily want to do that. Two of them can lose opinion of me for prestige. Yeah, let's do that. I'll take the prestige. So, we have a claim now. I think it's up here. I could declare war for my claims. And I could go, I could go fight them. I think I will do that. Let's go ahead and take an island. I think I have war war um, war rights with my soldiers in my realm, so I may as well raise all my army and go and expand the realm here. More land means more money. Traveling bard, sing a song of House Valerian. Sure, we'll just help with renown. Who's leading the army? I should. Yeah, that's okay. Should make my way up here and go straight for their island. I will get a disembarkment cost, so maybe, like there's a cross in here. Can I land here and then cross over? Actually, let's go there and then we'll cross over. <laughs> Just so we don't have the, the penalty for disembarkment because I think it's quite heavy, heavy in this mod. 
Um, we'll wait for our disembarkment penalty to go away, which is about 23 days. While we're sieging this place, that's fine. Let's speed this up. Okay, no more disembarkment costs. Let's go defeat their army. I have a new lifestyle experience. Intrigue, great. Murder scheme power plus 30%. We'll take that because we have uh, we have one cooking already. Now it's got that down to 22 months. That's fantastic. Good chance we'll win this battle. The good thing about taking land around here is it's all my fate. In the previous playthrough, I was playing, like, I had to convert to fate. But I'm pretty sure, like, if you look here, it should be fate of the seven. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. So all I need to do is convert the culture in any place that I take. And um, I can kind of make it my own, which is nice. So what we might do here, um, they're going to come back in for another battle. That's fine. Come on in. I learn of someone's lover secret. That's fine. My missus is pregnant again. I think I saw the end of a war there. Our throne is now back under the Mad King. I gained a trait one-eyed. How did that happen? My prowess went down, my learning went up, and attraction went down. I lost a trait wounded. Right, okay. Somebody just poked my eye out there. <laughs> um, let's continue stealing this bit of land. Cradled by death. Who is this? As the door to birthing uh my wife my 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 um she had a miscarriage. That's very sad. I don't want to read detail on that. Um we can murder Aegon Targaryen, let's do it. Nice, he's now dead. I haven't got caught for any of these murders. Not yet anyway. And a primary heir is this guy. We can murder him. Get another Targaryen off the map. Almost done here, siege in. Okay, 15% war score, 100% war score. First piece of land for the Valerians. We'll enforce our demands, disband all of our armies. And this is now part of Driftmark. Uh, well, it's it's part of the Iron Throne, but I mean, it's it's another domain that now I, I control. Um, let's have a look at the development of it. This was, it's development 10. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to hold on to it for now, I think. Or what I could do is land somebody. I could assign it to somebody. Who might we assign it to? <clears throat> Who is um, from my culture? So, hi Valerian. And is also my fate. I could land my son there. Uh, I want somebody that's good at... I think let's do some of all skills. Who's the best person for it? This guy is the best person for it. He really doesn't like me right now. Let's grant him the lands. Like, he's ruthless, trusting, and generous. So, he will like me, I think, if I give him lands. Let's give him this. Uh, okay, maybe not. We're not going to give him the lordship. Oh, I'm not a king. Right, I have to hold on to this for the moment until I'm a king. Right, uh, I didn't know that. We'll fabricate another claim, I think. For now, we will work on control in that area. It'll take about five years because all of our people suck. Um, I can assign this guy as my chancellor. Should make him like me a little bit better. Probably have better people for stewardship as well. No, we don't. What about uh, marshals? I'm probably, my son likes me. I could probably put my son down here. I think that'll be better. All right, so next up we need to fabricate a claim on another island and something that's weak. 
Hmm. Like ideally, we're on the east of the map. Maybe we go down south a little bit. What is this? Who owns this? Uh, I'm never going to be able to take it off the Brathians. Let's just have a look around the map. Hmm. Stormlands. Specifically this place. It's owned by this guy. Um, take a little piece of door and I could. This is called Gaston Grey. 19,000 soldiers, that's not going to help be helpful for me. Hmm. What about this little place here? It's owned by a kid. Perfect. We're going to go for Sweet Port. Or we could have a look here and see which one is actually... Supply limit 10,000. What's mine? Oh, 23,000. Okay, I thought 10,000 was a lot. This one's uh, very weak. Their paint it gets 2.5 gold a month versus... What's this one give us? Three gold a month. This is right beside us. I think what we'll do is get a claim on this island. Fabricate a claim. That'll take three years. Okay. Might might be able to get the full duchy. If we get the full duchy, um, I don't know whether we'll take it because we don't necessarily want all land. We just want islands. But uh, something that we can work towards anyway. Let's get this marriage locked in. Any decisions that we can take. Replace your eye with a gem. Absolutely. I mean, it, ha it has to be like a blue blue one, doesn't it? Okay, Ruby. For, from the Summer Elves, that will do. From the other Tarth. Diamond, I'll take it. Blue, reminds me of the ocean. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Emerald. Dragon glass. Ah, uh, dragon glass is the winner. It's purple and reminds me of the eyes of old Valerians. I mean, I have to go with this. Let's have a look at the barber shop. You can't really notice notice any change, but I got a purple eye, and um, it gives me additional learning, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Interesting decision. Uh, this guy wants a council position. You are terrible, so I'm just going to completely ignore you. And we're going to have a look at Driftmark to see if we can build anything. Which we can. Uh, what about High Tide? What can we build in High Tide? We could do hill farms. We could do military camps. Or we can build in where we just take in. And it's quite similar. How about Driftmark? Haunting Grounds, Defender Advantage, Light Cavalry, Archer. Archer Advantage. Hmm. I'm going to save my money and then go for like tax offices or... Maybe towers, I think, for now. I expect Lord Paran Toywin has been keenly in interested in information I've acquired on his vassal. Uh, that, that she sleep. Okay, cool. I'll, I can sell him money. I can sell him money? <laughs> Jesus. Brain fart. I can... Uh... <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, I can sell him a secret. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And get a bunch of gold. Let's see if that plays off. nice uh, we also have this hostile scheme success chance will go up um, fertility is an extra 30 percent find your secrets yeah I think we'll just continue our our road of chaos here this will take eight years now but we have enough money to upgrade I think two buildings so let's do it Let's upgrade our field, uh, our farms. What does that? What does this give us? Doubles our money. 
I think I'm going to do that. I don't want to build a bunch of different things. Not yet, because I might want those spaces for later. But uh, let's double our money for now. Um, how's your claim looking on this piece of land? Two years left at speed of time. Known for dedication to my faith. Nice. Uh, I can petition my liege. What can I ask him for this time? I love these visits to the capital. Um, help raise county control seems to be the only option that I have. County measures the grip of government on the population of a county. Uh, it's good for collecting. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Send bailiffs. And what he would like to do is my f my taxes will be increased. Him, I'm okay with that. Can I kill this guy? He has a strong hook on me. What a shame! Any more hooks and secrets that we can potentially blackmail people with? Let's blackmail this guy. Um, I can... Yeah, I'm just going to tell people <laughs> that he's uh, having a relationship with this gentleman. Nice, okay. Our money is flying up real quick, which is which is nice to see. Maybe we will invest in our all we have right now is crossbow men. I think it might be in, might be a good idea to get some like siege equipment, trebuchets potentially, pike men, dragon keepers. The dragon keepers were once the guard of the dragon pit, armed with their swords and spears, and now they defend the Targaryens, even though the dragon pit has been destroyed. He seemed to be good. Like, crossbow man is plus 45. And then dragon keepers, like I'm Valerian, so let's get a stack of dragon keepers. Um, these guys can lose opinion. And I'll get some intrigue. You can get some spoils, or you can get some prestige. Prestige and intrigue. Yeah, I'll take the prestige and intrigue, please. My glory is widely known. Nice. Um, what else can we be working on here? Speed up time a little bit. How's our control? You increase control there, please. A good faith of the seven. I am known for my deeply pious. I'm known as a deeply pious man. Surely my devotion to the seven, who are the one. Should be good for something in this life too, and not only the next. Okay. Can spend piety for gold. Or this guy can get opinion of me. I think it's good to get opinion of the uh, High Septum. Let's do that. Keep him happy. Even in reflections. I sip at my mug of spiced wine. My eyes are scanning over the latest scrawled work. When legacy takes shape, the mightiest men must leave this earth, no matter what realms they've given birth, and hope only for memory's grace, their time of conquest ended as space. This is truly, no, sorry, this, truly I'm one of the greatest artistic minds of my age. He's not modest. Um, I can become a poet, which will give me diplomacy. I can become a journaler, which will give me learning. Uh, yeah, I'll take the journaler trait because my learning is really kind of terrible right now. Um, can I get you to work on direct vassal opinion? This guy can work on increasing development. It's going to take six years. Six years across the board. Increased taxation, increased control. 13 years. That's the increased development there. Spy master. Support schemes, I suppose. Yeah. And domain taxes or supply. I need domain taxes for now. 
It only gives me an extra one, so it's not really worth it. You are terrible. Um, okay. How is... <clears throat> Hang on. Prince Viserys has become your new lead due to being granted titles. Yeah, okay. Well, he's going to die in 12 months. Get that wedding sent off. Get that marriage done and dusted. We'll keep on putting money into our army because we're going to expand when the time's right. Let's speed up this if we can. Greetings, my impressive vassal. You've been loyal and you've been a loyal, devoted subject. I want to reward you. Uh, you want to be spy master of Dragonstone. Hang on a second. I accept. Absolutely accept that. Um, little Orain has been infatuated with the Tales of the King's Guard. This is the guy that I want to. I want the traits to carry down, so I'm gonna let. I'm not gonna let him join the King's Guard. Get another intrigue. Whoa, we're flying up this. Um, fertility an extra thirty percent. You torture people. What's my dread? Dread gain is good. Just disrupt schemes, just to kind of keep myself safe from any schemes that are going against me. Your acquaintance has created the Liberty Faction. Okay, there is a faction against my liege, Lower Crown Authority. I could join this if I wanted to, but I don't think I will. Can we build again? Not just yet. But what we can do is we can increase our Dragon Keepers just to keep our army growing. And let's just have a look at our court. We set the defaults court. And we want to do not our religion. Everybody is our religion. That's perfect. Uh, marital status unmarried and is an adult. Okay, we got two people. Can I can't I can't get you to convert. Can't get you to convert either. Never mind. But well, they're already my, my religion. Never mind. Uh, my wife is pregnant once again. Greetings, my implacable vassal. Would would greatly would please me greatly if you take Shadditch as your squire. You know, he's terrible. Should ditch him. Should ditch him somewhere else. Ditch that guy. Showing off. Um Eye contact, that's brilliant. I got a, like a big purple eye. This morning I had an, a delightful encounter with a young servant. We joked, laughed, and we par parted with glad hearts. Okay, I suppose it could make more eye contact. Traction opinion, plus 30. Plus 40. This is going to be plus 50, right? Plus 50? <laughs> um, or you can take prestige. Courtier opinion. Hmm. Um, no, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with my courtiers. They hate me already. <clears throat> How's our scheme look at five months? Let's go. Um, you can make a case that I am. I get a claim on the island that I want. Nice. Okay, we got a claim, which means that when we are positive in income again. Oh, Alera stands before me as a servant of Prince Viserys. Now I want you to do something to me, and of course, you will be reasonably compensated. Never mind, run back to your master. Um, murder gains progress. Take the middle option. So close to being it success, being successful. I'll give him a little bit of money. Okay, we are ready to kill another king or a prince at least. 
Nice. This guy's like, where are all my family members dying? Viserys has left the world, sent off by a bandit's blade as he travelled... As the travel party stopped in a camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it wasn't enough. Viserys was tragically slain in the melee. The bandits are now hunted by all, and no one in, in, in no one in no one, and no one even suspects my involvement. I cannot talk today. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at the Iron Throne again, and we want to demand a council position. Keep me close to your family, please, because I'm almost four living members. If we have a look, two are babies. Well, some of them have claims. This one doesn't. So grand order. Can't kill the main guy. Maybe we'll just do them by age. Sorry, love. You're next. Um, all right, so one Targaryen down. Lucerus, isn't that like, isn't that the guy that I just killed? Uh, Viserys. I'm going to call him Viserys, just to kind of like, in spite of the person that we just killed. If I wish that I could spell it uh, V-I-S-E-R-Y-S. Let's call him Viserys, and he is homely. Here we go. It's kind of like a horrible thing to do, to kill somebody and then name your son after him. But uh, yeah, that's how we roll. She is pensive and just. We can keep just. Okay, um, I inherited the province of Griffin Rock. Um, okay, where is that? It's another island. Happy days. Um, I need, I need you to promote culture. Okay, I have to have a certain rank before I can do that. Never mind. Um, can't give it away yet. My vassals are not going to like me, but... De designate a guardian for this little person who is doing a diplomacy lifestyle. Get my niece to mind you. Look after you. Thank you. We can't declare war, which we are going to do immediately. Uh, he has 2,000 soldiers. Um, what we might do, just to help us a little bit, is marry off one of our kids for a alliance. Um, one that has inheritable traits, if possible. Doesn't even need to be the best inheritable trait, just need soldiers. Who's this? Oh. Here's Herculean. Look at it. This is, um, not the mountain. The dog? Let's do that. That's a nice marriage. Plus, he's a pretty good character to have in our own. That was a nice little surprise. His face was burnt. Did you see that? I hope you saw that. Let's just have another look at his face. Look at his beautiful face. Uh, this icon is obviously not available yet. But uh, we now have... I think we have... I'm allied here, which is a nice alliance. And maybe we can have a look at our other kids. And get another um, inheritable. Let's do military strength, alliance power. Hmm. You are intelligent, beautiful, and intelligent. I'm looking for like genius, beautiful, or intelligent. Lots of beautiful people. What like what have I got? I'm I'm robust. Who are you? Seven hundred forty three soldiers. You're low born. What would happen if we weren't doing inheritable traits? And we don't alliance power. 
we could have 5,000 soldiers. Yeah, like this guy's really old. So let's take this guy now. Get 5,000 soldiers to help us with our fight. He's hopefully going to die by the time she gets old enough to have kids. And what we can do then is uh, marry her off somewhere else then. See how sneaky I am? I hope you like it. Um, okay, cool. Let's go to war with... Sorry, it was down here. It was these guys. Uh, yeah, we'll absolutely go to war for this. And I want to call in... Let's call in the... the is it a dog? The mountain? Oh, sorry, I completely lost that. You're probably shouting at me. Um, I don't need anybody else. I can I can probably take this myself, but I thought I'd call it my ally anyway. The hound! It's the hound, not the dog. Thought there in the end. Um, okay, we have 3,000 soldiers. We're going to land here, and then we're going to walk across. Enemy ally joins the war. Um, okay, so he just joined my war. That's fine. Although that's good. Who's this other guy that's fighting for you? He has 1,000 soldiers. Never mind. Should win this pretty easily. Let's get over there and take the island. Disembarkment cost goes away very soon. Just looking down here in case anybody's wondering. Once that's gone away, we should win this pretty easily. Let's get in here for a battle. Um, because it's one county, we should be able to seize it real quick. Don't think we needed our allies. Oh, his ally did show up. <laughs> um, this is my son, who actually turned out to be a... He turned out to be a decent character. He was the same guy that wanted to, I think, join the King's Guard. These are good battles for us to win in terms of prestige. We will send him off for his marriage. That's a good marriage in terms of traits. Collecting all the traits so we can make these. This is my eutogenic, eutogenics program. Eutogenic, yeah, gene program to make the strongest people in the game. Um, pay a hunter to, to draw a map. Don't want to do that. If I pay more people, then it's more likelihood of it being found out. Gain a hook. All of this is good. Beast of Castle Driftmark. My lord, Huff's garrison. He marches up to me. Okay, my daughter has been kind of dressing up and uh, costume. My daughter has 61 opinion. I could take... Uh, yeah, I'll take the weak hook. Okay, puppeteer. Not sure what that pop up was. I didn't really have a choice in, in anything. Enemy hostile success chance minus 25. Enemy hostile success chance against your courtiers minus 10. Digging for dirt. Um, fertility, you'll take. Just to have more kids. Okay, we're almost there. Almost at 100%. Nice. Okay. New piece of land for the Valerians. Disband all. Uh, I captured somebody there. I haven't looked in our jail in a little bit of time. You are just a child. Can I get some cash for you? Get a wee cook. That's fine. How about you? Um, get you to take the vows, which is kind of cool. I'll just let you go. Anybody that's a good fighter... I wouldn't mind adding them to my team. Uh, for now, I think we will get you to gain a weak hook. Um, okay, so you are, I mean, you're a skilled fighter. Gain a weak hook again. This guy's rude, skilled tactician, and he is a forest fighter. I'll take 30 gold for you. 
And this guy is actually pretty good. Formidable fighter. Grey eminence. So he has good diplomacy. He wouldn't be a bad character to recruit. He's a different culture than me. Actually, how much is he worth? How much is he worth? We'll take the gold if he's worth money. No, he's not. Um, 18 prowess. 18 prowess. Let me just see. He's not bad. Let's recruit him. Extra soldier for us. Which is nice. Our knights are pretty good. They have a 122% effectiveness and our prestige is going up because we're winning a lot of wars how's our health we are progressing time quite quickly we're 51 how's our succession looking clear all succession everything will go to monford who is 27 okay All right, I can change my succession to House Seniority. The oldest member will inherit all your titles. It's kind of the same. Okay, we don't want to change those. What about, I can change my heir. Oh, right, okay. I can just choose who I want to play as. That's pretty nice. I think that's because I have absolute crown authority, or I'm I'm not sure why that is, but uh, that's a really nice feature. Um, okay, we will just come in and have a look at like, how can we. I suppose it needs to be. I don't I need to own a duchy. I need to own a kingdom, and I need to own the crown lands to become a king. Who is who owns the crown lands? In order for me to take the crown lands, I need the realm to split, and that is currently impossible because I'm just a, a lord right now. Okay, we got to think about that. And meanwhile, six years to kill another another Targaryen. How many were left? Only three, three of them, only three of them left, four of them left. This guy's gonna die of old age soon, I think. That will be a fun time when that happens. Um, okay, the last thing I wanna do in this episode is just build a little bit, I think. So Driftmark is our main holding. Um, we can build, um, we have enough money to build like a new building. So military camps is good for levies. We have in our in our army we have crossbow men, which are archers. So we have archer damage plus four here, which is nice, I suppose. We can also get more taxes. Archer cavalry, like cavalry. What are these class does? Heavy infantry. Anything for heavy infantry? Heavy infantry damage plus four. Um, I think I'm going to go with the archers. Let's do that. Um, cool. I will leave it there for this episode. Episode two, we now have like five holdings. Um, our vassals hate us because <laughs> we're holding so much. And um, I might have to give away some of these, uh, some of these holdings. Maybe I'll do that now. Let's have a look. Anything with low development, like this place has really low development. So let me grant this away here. Sort, yeah, we could give it to someone that has higher stewardship. Give it to my nephew or my son. Give it to my son. I can't give it to my son because then he, his rank will equal mine. And he becomes a vassal of the seven kingdoms, not me. Right, uh, we won't give it away for now. We'll leave it there though. Um, got a purple eye. Killed another Targaryen, won a war, 
Welcome to episode two. Looking forward to the next one. I hope to see you there. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing. I'll be making uh, a lot more of these until we're sitting on the throne or we get to game over. And after that, then we'll play as a new family. But enjoy the Valyrian playthrough so far. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.